So I remember uh, this entanglement, entanglement I had with a great narcissist. So we, uh, you know, we are chilling in those early days. And then one evening, no, one morning actually. So this great narcissist tells me that. You know, I had a dream last night. This is, this is quote, the great narcissist. So they are saying like, I had a dream last night. I was like, okay, go ahead. What, what about the dream? I dreamed that you had packed all your bags. She had a dream that she had, I had packed all my bags. And I was dragging them out of the house. I was leaving her. And then she was there crying and what and begging and stuff, stuff like that. No, you know, for me, it's very funny. I find this, this whole thing is like a phenomenon. This whole thing, that's a narcissist thing. We're having these conversations, this conversation in particular one, at the beginning of the relationship. It was like a couple of weeks. We haven't yet had a fight. We didn't argue. It was okay in the beginning. Everything was okay. And then this nurses told me they had a dream that one day I had packed my bags and I was leaving. So we're having this, uh, we could call it, it was like that moment of a uh, breakup. So then I asked this question, nurses that, what do you think about, what do you think of that dream? What do you make of it? You know, sometimes I have dreams and they are coming true or something like that. Now, you know, when you're dealing with this kind of individuals, you're dealing with very manipulative people. It's one thing what I learned along my journey. You are dealing with very manipulative people. There is something they are trying to, there's a message they are trying to put, for, uh, put forward. But they won't put it forward in a way that nobody actually gets it. So they want to put it forward in a way that uh, it's like they're speaking in parables, you know? Now, at some point in time, you'll realize that actually those individuals, they were describing their life. So guys, anyway, listen. The narcissist is talking about themselves. They are telling you what is most likely going to happen in that relationship, in that particular relationship, at some point in time. So, they're already prophesying because they know, they know their system, how it works. And you see, one other thing I, I realized with this, uh, with this kind of individuals as well. So when I was asking about the exes, you know, that's how you catch an assist, ladies and gentlemen, listen to this one, it's very powerful. When I used to ask about the exes, so what about that ex? You know, tell me about your previous relationship. You know me sometimes, it's not because I care. Who, who did you date before? Or, uh, I'm not interested who was your ex-partner or something like that. But I was, sometimes I can get curious because I want to know what, what kind of person am I dating at that moment. So I may bring out that story of the ex. And you may hear sometimes people talking about things like, Oh, I had this ex who was together for two months. And then I left that ex. Then I had another one who was together for one month. You know, then that one went. Then I got another one who was together for three weeks. Now you're starting to hear this kind of individual who has been swinging from ex to ex, from one boyfriend to another or from one girlfriend to another. And there wasn't any break in between. And it would almost feel like they could not settle down in a relationship. So that's one of the biggest red flags you can know. That you might be dealing with a narcissist. Okay? So basically what happens is that the narcissist originally knows even as soon as you enter that relationship they already know that you guys are going to break up. It's just a matter of time. They know how, it, how it's all going to end. They know how it has always been in their relationships. And they know how it's all, all also going to end with you. 
it's just a matter of time until that relationship is going to fall apart. So that's the reason why you see a lot of these nurses when they're in, when they're in the relationships. Any hose. The narcissist knows how all those relationships are going to end with them. So it's just a matter of time. Because you see, those kind of individuals, they cannot maintain any form of relationship. They know their partner how it works because it's like they know they are with you just for a short period of time and you will be on your way. You don't have any business with them. You don't have anything to do with them. You will be on your way. They know this. Okay? You will be on your way. Either by force or you actually voluntarily, voluntarily walk away from them. They know that they are not going anywhere. Those relationships, they are up to no good. So if you're dating a narcissist, just believe. You best believe. And you'll, you'll hear a lot of these messages like I've told you in the beginning of this video. You'll be hearing those messages. They'll be telling you things like, Oh, you know, whatever happens, don't leave me. You know, they're like little babies. Have you ever seen these little, little babies crying for milk? <laughs> you guys. Hmm? Have you ever seen these little babies who are crying for milk? You know? They are hungry and crying for milk. So sometimes they'll be telling you things like, Oh, you know, whatever happens, don't ever leave me. You know, sometimes things are hard. And everything like that. They are simply telling you that you may catch up on their crop, their BS, their, B, their bull crop, and you may sometimes leave them. So there's, it's, it's like they're giving you a heads up. You know? That listen, whatever goes on, they already messed up individuals and you're most likely going to leave them. So they know. They're just telling you that you can be aware that that particular relationship you're involved isn't going anywhere. So everything that involves a narcissist, either way, it always comes to the end. It always has got to end by some chance because... The individual you are dealing with is a very broken person. They have never been in a full, I could say, meaningful, long-term relationship. If it was a long-term relationship, then it was a long-term broken relationship, okay? Messed up relationship. Because it can even sometimes happen for 20 years that they're going to be with somebody for 20 years. And they're going to be breaking that person for 20 years. So it can be a long-term messed up and broken relationship. Okay, there's a difference between long-term messed up broken relationship and a long-term beautiful relationship. Not in the sense that all relationships are perfect. Sometimes you can have your flaws here and there. But when you're dealing with a narcissist, it's all messed up from the beginning to the end. So they cannot hold and they cannot maintain a successful relationship with anyone. They are not capable to do that. Okay, they are not wired like that. You know what I mean? So you're simply dealing with a very broken individual. Ladies and gentlemen, all you have to do is look out for the red flags. So when you have a kind of, you know, I'll, I'll give this one away in this video for the empaths out there. For, so if you are, for example, an, a, a person, an individual who is trying to date you and you're starting a relationship with them, pay attention. Pay attention to two things. Now, the red flags can be many. But I'll just talk about two things in this video. Pay attention to two things. Pay attention to an individual who always mentions things like they have been in a relationship the last two weeks, they just broke up two weeks ago, and they are trying to start up something with you. They just broke up one month ago, they are planning to start something up with you. So they are always on the move. They break up and they look for something new. They break up and they look for something new. So basically what is really happening is that they All right, I'll explain to you guys what is happening. 
All right, guys, let me explain to you briefly what is going on here. So I'm there, I'm doing the video. And then, of course, you, as you guys know, I'm looking around what's going on in the vicinity. And there's this little girl, school girl. I don't know what level she's studying. She has this uniform. And of course, you know, out of the blue, she just comes out of nowhere. She sits somewhere up, uh, somewhere uh, at a distance and she starts meditating. And first I was thinking that is this girl like, you know, just having a chill or something or just sitting out there having a chill and I'm looking close and she's actually meditating. For me, it was one of the most beautiful things I've seen. I have been in this park. I have not seen anyone, whether a child or an or, uh, whether a child or an adult that is actually meditating. It's the first time I've seen anybody in this park meditating. Now, I'll take you briefly at what exactly happened. When I finished this video, of course, the video is going to continue after this. I finished this video. I went to this girl and I asked her, are you meditating? She's a young girl, you know, young one. And she's like, yeah, you know, I am meditating. So I was interested. She said that, yeah, she was meditating. And uh, I asked her, are you spiritual? She said, no, I'm not spiritual. I'm a Christian. And uh, I'm a Protestant. I was like, okay, so you're not, you're not actually spiritual, but you actually meditate. She said, yeah. I asked her, why do you do this? Oh, it's something that I like doing every now and then. I always come out here in the park and I always meditate. And I've always felt a very good energy with this place. You come here and it's like, if place is full of life, the waves of the water, the birds everywhere, you know, all different types of insects. You can actually see everything, what they call nature in this place. This girl, in my opinion, she could be a star seed. Even if she's still young and she doesn't know who she is or whatever, I could assume she's a star seed or maybe she's a chosen one. She's just actually trying to connect, you know? It was the most beautiful thing I've seen. Anyways, I may do a whole video later, uh, next time about it. Let us carry on with this video. Pay attention to those two things. They are hoping in and out of relationships. Every now and then they are with somebody new. They are with somebody else. They are with somebody new. They are with somebody else. They break up with this one. They go with another one in the next two days, two, three days or a week. That's a red flag. So you are dealing with a very unstable person. And that person is going to hurt you. The same way they broke up with the ex, is the same way they are going to leave you behind. Another red flag you should look out for. Look out for a person that is very insecure. So a person who is always talking about, oh, you know, well, I don't know if this thing will last. Maybe this will happen. Maybe that will happen. That kind of stuff. You have got to pay attention to those kind of individuals. They are already worried at the beginning of the relationship. They are worried that you're going to leave them. That is because actually so many people have already left them. So they know the cycle, how it works. Okay, it's a repeated cycle. Everybody comes in and leaves them and they know how this whole thing goes. So they are actually insecure and worried from the very start that you may sometimes wake up and walk away from that relationship, which normally happens the case that they always meet people who walk away from them at some point in time. That is how you know that you're dealing with the narcissist. Those, those are some of the red flags you should actually be aware of in the beginning stages of the relationship. So guys, let us know what you think about the video in the comment section below. You guys do know that I do love and appreciate support. Uh, your support. Let us know in the comment section below if you know what I'm talking about, if it has actually happened to you. And uh, of course, like the page, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. There's almost signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.